Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the link. So, um, Alaska, it's coming up December 17th and uh, kind of a rundown of why and why not, right? So let's start with sheep. We've got the doll sheep in Alaska. You know, there's a number of different places to apply to. Um, the unfortunate thing is this, the odds are gonna be less than 1%, very similar to most all sheep tags. The good thing is, is you've got an equal shot at it. Uh, there's no point system in Alaska. So as soon as uh, you apply, you, you have the same chance as anybody. You're not behind any point curve or anything like that. Um, the other reason for sheep in that state is overall the quality in a couple of these units, uh, particularly the toke and the chugach, are phenomenal. Like these are very legitimate cracks. If you show up, you're in shape and you're working with the right outfitters, a high 30s and a 40 plus inch sheep is not out of the question. The other reason that this is such a viable option is because uh, your the budget around getting on those hunts tends to be anywhere from three to five thousand dollars cheaper than most any of the hunts you're gonna find over the counter in Alaska whether it be the Brooks Range Alaska Range wherever it is and literally ten thousand dollars less uh, in than hunts in the Northwest Territories so it's a long shot it's not a it's not a super uh, great opportunity but the quality versus the price uh, it's definitely something worth thinking about. Um, let's jump to mountain goats. So this is my probably my number one reason guys should consider applying for Alaska. And if you're going to buy the $160 hunting license that's required before you get into that draw, then uh, this could be the reason why you're jumping into it. Then you also should consider applying for other species of interest because you want to get the most value out of that hunting license. So mountain goat, it breaks down like this. If you're going on a DIY hunt and that you know that that's what you're gonna do, then you should probably stick with the lower 48. You should be looking at states like Colorado, uh, maybe Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. Um, Idaho, Montana, you know, be ready for something very, very physical, but it's an option. You could go and do it. Uh, if you know that you're gonna go guided, here's where Alaska really starts to make a lot of sense. Uh, best case scenario, on, on average, 10 to 12 years of applying for a mountain goat in a number of different states, the odds are one of those is going to shake down somewhere. Um, meanwhile, when, when you do draw, you're going to be on the hook for anywhere from a $1,500 to a $2,500 mountain goat tag. So if it's going to take 10 to 12 years and it's going to cost a couple thousand bucks once you actually draw, Alaska, we have hunts set up uh, in different parts of the state that are gonna be one in three to one in five drawing odds, and the tag is only $600. So the cost of getting to Alaska, whether it be the to Homer or Kodiak City or wherever it is that you're gonna go, uh, versus the cost that when you finally actually draw that tag in the states, just negated itself. It's 100% equal money at that point, maybe even a little bit less expensive in Alaska. Now we're back to the outfitted portion of it. You know, most of these states, you're going to be on the hook for a six to $8,000 hunt. And the same is going to be for Alaska. Go on these goat hunts as quickly as you can. You're not getting any younger. Your legs are going to be still better than they are in 10 to 12 years, regardless of your age. And if you know it's time and you're ready for that type of hunt, then instead of buckling down for years in a bunch of different states and seeing what happens, let's get focused on Alaska and let's go knock this one out of the park. Let's, let's get you set up on a hunt. We've got boat-based hunts, we've got spike camp hunts, and overall it's, it's a much better plan and a very high value. And you're going to Alaska, like who needs more reasons to do that? It's an amazing place. If you've never done it, check it out. Um, caribou, uh, again, I would argue that the non-resident option for caribou is the last best place to go caribou hunting. It's very consistent on big, big bulls and you're going to have a fantastic hunt. Um, if you talk to guys in recent years that are uh, going, I mean, it doesn't matter where you go in the world. A caribou hunt is a very high risk hunt. It, is, it, it, it can be amazing, but it oftentimes for a lot of guys, it doesn't end up being the dream that they expected it to be. 
if you draw the non-resident option in Alaska, you are going on a phenomenal caribou hunt. And again, because we're drawing the tag, it ends up being a, a less cost and a higher value than what you'd find just by booking a caribou hunt outright. So um, now let's talk muskox bison. I mean, odds are brutal. It hunts are expensive, um, but you know, it's a very good option. The hunts are fantastic. We have guys set up that are gonna take care of you on both of those accounts. If you don't wanna to go to Greenland for your muskox, this is something you should consider, although that is a phenomenal hunt. Uh, I mean, no no getting around it, That that is incredible. If drawing tags, going on this, staying in the States, that's what cranks you up, then we should talk about those as well. Um, don't forget about like the elk on Fognac Island, uh, Roosevelt Hunt. We've got guys that will take you in there, get you set up and, and do a fantastic job. Obviously the brown bears, um, you know, particularly Kodiak Island. Uh, we've got some high value big bears, um, very physical hunts, uh, very tough. But as far as a chance at a nine, 10 foot plus bear at a much less cost than what you're gonna find uh, way out on the peninsula where a lot of these bigger bears are found, um, it's, it's a really high value for what you get. So um, give us a call. Um, moose, similar story. There's a lot of cool things going on up there with moose. Obviously, we can do over-the-counter type stuff, but um, just like in, in the lower 48, if you draw a tag, more often than not, the quality is higher, the price is less. Give us a call. Let's talk about this and how it might fit into your hunt plan and uh, get you started. December 17th is the deadline. I'm looking forward to talking to you. Thanks. Bye.